Happy Halloween everybody! My name is Kiana and I'm gonna teach you how to make some spooky treats. So let's get started. First, the ingredients. What were those magic words again? Avada uh, Kedavra, Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo? No, that wasn't it. Okay, Hocus Pocus! <laughs> Alright, cool! So, the ingredients we'll need are eggs, mayo, mustard, relish, sugar, and black and green food coloring. Start by filling a pot with water. Put the eggs in the pot and when the pot starts to boil, start a timer for 20 minutes. Then take your eggs out and crack them. Just crack the shell, do not deshell it. Then you're going to put the eggs in a plastic bag, fill it with half a cup of water, and then add your black food coloring, like a tablespoon or so. Make sure the eggs are covered in the black liquid, and then let them sit for a while so the, you know, black food coloring stays. After that, rinse off your eggs and then deshell them. Once you deshell them, they should look like this. And now to make the filling. I don't know if anyone else does this, but I use a potato masher to mash my yolks. I mean, it just makes everything easier for me. Whenever I make deviled eggs, I don't really, you know, have a recipe specifically with measurements I just do it by taste but I'll try I added like two tablespoons of mayo and I think a tablespoon of mayo and just a tablespoon of sugar and then as much relish as I deem necessary if you don't like relish you don't have to put it in this is the part where the green food coloring comes in you're gonna wanna put that in your egg yolk and mix it in. It's gonna be the inside of the alien egg, so it looks like oozing slime. Take a plastic bag and put it in a cup. Then, put your filling into the plastic bag. Take the plastic bag out and then cut the tip at the bottom. This is a DIY piping bag. Then, it's time to fill your eggs. I added some of the filling on the side so it looked like it was oozing like slime. Then you should be all done with your hatched alien deviled eggs. Speaky. I really like the bottoms, it's so cool. <laughs> For this recipe, you're going to need Pillsbury croissant dough, ketchup, mustard, and hot dogs. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees. While you're doing that, I'm going to use the sausages my mom uses for her mukbangs, because uh, we don't have hot dogs, but sausages will do. And I'm going to defrost them in the microwave. Take out your Pillsbury dough and roll it out, or at least try to. Then you're going to want to cut them into thin slices, but not too thin. You're going to use the dough as the wrappings on a mummy, so you're going to wrap them around the hot dog 
or sausage in this case. Once you have it all good and wrapped, leave a space in the middle of the hot dog so you have a place to put your mustard eyes. Place your hot dogs on a baking pan and then cook in the oven for 15 minutes. Then you're all done with your mummy dogs. Use the ketchup for dip and the mustard for eyes. The ingredients you'll need for this recipe are milk, sour cream, avocados, tomatoes, onions, nachos, and pepper jack and white cheddar cheese. You don't need olives. Olives are gross and I just couldn't put them in. But you can put them in if you want. I, I just don't prefer them. Add two tablespoons of lime juice in a bowl. Then add a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, onion powder, pepper, and salt. Mix together and then add your four avocados. And again, if you're weak like me and using a fork is freaking tiresome, you use a potato masher, which is way, way easier. Next, dice up your tomato into small pieces. Add your tomatoes and mix it into the guacamole. Now it's time to prepare to cut your onions. Do not let it burn your eyes! Prepare yourself! <laughs> and yes, this is a thing I actually do. All set! My preparations were a success. My eyes aren't watery or burning. Awesome. Add your onions and mix it into the guacamole. Then your guacamole is all done. Now it's time to make a cheese that isn't yours, nacho cheese. Take a saucepan and place it onto the stove. Then melt two tablespoons of butter. Add two tablespoons of flour, then mix it all together until combined. Add one cup of milk. When the mixture becomes a bit thick, add one cup of pepper jack cheese and a half a cup of white cheddar cheese. Mix well until combined. Your cheese should look like this when you're done. And it smells so good! Put sour cream into a Ziploc bag. We're gonna do the DIY piping bag trick again, but this time cut the tip a bit smaller. We're gonna use the sour cream to decorate the top of the guacamole to make it look like a spider web.
Then simply decorate your nachos with your favorite toppings. After that, you're all done! And that's how you make these delicious spooky treats! These were a lot of fun to make, and they were delicious to eat! You can use them for small get-togethers, or parties, or anything, or just because you're hungry. I did it because I was hungry. Anyway, I had a lot of fun doing this. Happy Halloween!